What's up guys, this is Exodus and I'm going to bring you a tutorial on how to get the best out of your materials. This mostly applies to displacement materials because you don't really need this without the displacement. So let's go ahead and get into it. So drag in whatever you're going to use like your Motext or your Extrude Nerves or whatever. And go ahead and put a material on it. I'm going to use this Intense Rock material and switch it to Cubic. Seamless. Alright. Now that you're here, you're going to want to go to Extrude, uh, go to Caps, just do your fillet cap and whatever, uh, change your Extrude to whatever you need, and then scroll down from Caps and go to Type, and then flip it from Engons to Quadrangles, and you want to click Regular Grid, make sure that's checked, and you want to keep it at like 5 centimeters. If you don't have a very good, like, uh, processor computer uh, you want to move this up but if you have a pretty good processor then you can just keep it down so I'm gonna put mine four and when you render it out okay I'm just gonna cancel this because I already have it rendered okay so this right here is what it looks like without it and you can see right here how it's kinda bunched up and it wrinkles up right here on a curve on any, this applies to any logo. On any curve, it's going to wrinkle up a little bit and not look very good. Plus, it's not going to be as dark, and it's not going to have very high-quality shadows. So if you do put on the grid, this is what it's going to look like. It's going to have more shadows. It's going to look nicer. Uh, it doesn't wrinkle up around the corners. And, yeah, it just overall looks a lot better. And this is what I do with all of my materials. So, yeah, that's just a quick little tip that I... Uh, you can do in Cinema 4D. So, thanks for watching. Thank you so much for 1.5K subscribers. It means a lot to me. And if you want to see more tutorials in this uh, channel, just put in the comments what you want to see. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Peace, guys.